I was excited because I didn't have any experience of what it would be like to work in the career that I want to go to. My name is Isaac Okana. My placement is based at Skycap with building video recognition software. I'm Jawad and I'm working in Skycap through the Nullfield Research Placement. This is like a really good experience for me. My name is Dirk Gorison. I'm the head of R&D at Skycap, who are a UAV service provider based here in the UK, the Netherlands and South Africa. So a UAV is an unmanned aerial vehicle, or as most pe people commonly know them as a drone. Depending on what the mission is, to map a field or inspect a bridge or do some anti-poaching work or any kind of mission where you need an airborne platform, we will deliver that as a full end-to-end -end service provider. We made up our own project. Working with drones and image recognition software. Using a camera and an embedded CPU, we try to process images from the camera and figure out what it's looking at. Their goal is to build a flying object detector. This drone could fly around a room or, or an outdoor scene and it could report back the objects it sees. I've never actually ever even thought about touching a drone, but now here I am working with it. They've got very good technical skills, you know, they can still do a lot of a lot of work and with, with guidance, you know, they could produce some really amazing things. Well, having students like, like from the Nuffield or from internships come and work with us for over a period of weeks, I think it's nice because they have their own sets of ideas, but also it allows us to explore kind of little projects which are maybe not the core of our business, but might be interesting or provide some interesting results. It's much more motivational when it's your project. It's, it's interesting and it's, it's fun. It was when I, when I got here, I really liked it. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I didn't know it would be given as much freedom. It's interesting seeing the way that they, they approach different problems and often they, they approach in, in very different ways and it's interesting seeing them sort of learning how they need to approach you know, something that they haven't approached previously in school. It's a way for engaging with, with the community as well and getting students interested in STEM type subjects and, and what you can do with technology today and that's you know, in the longer term good for, for companies like ourselves as well. The best thing will be the creativeness of our project and the independence. The people I'm working with, so Dirk, Alex, Isaac, all of them are like really helpful. Having them participate and having them you know, work at this project and, and try to make it happen. For them, the best thing about their placement is sort of learning how to work independently because that, that's not something you always get in school. The problems that we have to solve may be hard. Just knowing the end result of it will be satisfying. I think having gone through that full end-to-end -end project life cycle, hope would be very satisfying. Mm -hmm.